Hi, I'm Shani Ferguson from Jerusalem. Believing what people say, taking people at their word is the topic of today's video because a lot of people are going around the world making arguments for said countries such as Iran and uh, groups such as Hamas, Hezbollah, Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt, and Israel. And the question is, is anyone listening to what these people are saying? For example, if anyone implies that countries like Iran are somehow oppressed by the West, when countries like Iran specifically say their goal is to wipe Israel off the map, they have their army say death to America, death to Israel as part of their morning routine, we should listen to them. This was the problem in World War II, is people made all these arguments back and forth and no one was listening to the guy who wrote the book saying the Jews needed to be destroyed as the ultimate final solution. Eventually, people woke up. A lot of people died between then and the time of liberation. The question is, before you form your opinion and before your friends are forming their opinion, are they listening to what these people are saying? Because Hamas, in their charter, said they exist for the destruction of Israel. Therefore, there is no such thing as a proportionate response to the guy who's sworn to kill you. If your neighbor says, my goal of existence and moving in here is to destroy my neighbor over there and his family, and all he did was break in one time, the proportionate response is not to the break-in, it's to what he's been saying the whole time, which is, he wants to destroy you, which is what Hamas has always been saying, which is what Iran has always been saying, which is what Hezbollah has always been saying. And again, mark my words, they're not just trying to kill the Jewish people, they're trying to kill everybody who isn't them. And if that's you, then you should be concerned about it. You should be supportive of Israel, trying to take them out before they reach you. You're welcome. By the way, the other thing that Hamas tried to do on the 7th of October, other than torture and brutal murder our people, was try to take out our food supply. The villages that are down in the desert near Gaza, some 30, 40 of them, are mostly um, agriculture-based, which is where a huge amount of the food in Israel is grown. There's chicken farms, there's tomato, cucumbers, vineyards. It's actually an incredible thing that they've been able to do in the middle of the desert. What they did was they sliced open chicken coops and let the chickens get away. They murdered the Thai workers that come here. Some 40 of them were murdered. At least 20 of them were kidnapped. 4,000 of them have left the country. So Israel has an incredible crisis on its hand. Secondary crisis, food. This, of course, was part of their plan. So what we've been doing, what Israelis have been doing, and this is, we're talking doctors, teachers, musicians, people with independent businesses that can adjust their work hours have been going down, driving down into the war zone area where rockets are flying all day to the acoustics of explosions in Gaza. I've been going down and picking tomatoes and cucumbers because not only is it a problem now that we don't have tomatoes and cucumbers and whatever else isn't seasoned, if these plants are not harvested properly, the next season they won't grow properly as well. So this is a long chain of events that can go wrong. Again, if you want to be a part of what is happening here, IsraelNeedsMe.com is where you can donate to a sound organization with proven financial accountability. And in the meantime, the Maoist team is either down harvesting south or on the field fighting or handing out humanitarian aid and gear to people who are affected by this war. I'm not going to say it's the safest thing to do, but neither is living in Israel or being a Jew on this planet apparently right now. So that is what we're doing. We will fight for our country, whether it is in the military or by harvesting our crops or by raising our kids to not be beasts. Until next time, I'm Shani Ferguson.